Here is our first sentence. All students have different goals. Before we can diagram it, we need to know what kind of structure we're working with. We need to look for the subject-verb combinations. In this case, we only have one subject-verb combination. Students have. We have one independent clause. That makes it a simple sentence. We're going to go ahead and start diagramming this sentence by putting the subject and the verb where they belong. Here we have students have in the correct spot. Have what? Goals. Goals is the direct object in this sentence, so it gets diagrammed on that main horizontal line, and the line will be straight. Now we can go back and do our modifiers. What kind of goals? Different goals. We'll put that on the line right there. Which students? All students. We'll diagram that on the line right there. Here is the completed diagram. Here is our second sentence. Some students have already chosen a career, but others have not thought about one. In this sentence, we have two subject-verb combinations. Students have and others have. When we look at the rest of the words around them, we can tell that we have two independent clauses, which means we have a compound sentence. And those two independent clauses in that compound sentence are joined by the coordinating conjunction, but. We need to begin by diagramming the first independent clause. Now we'll diagram the second independent clause. Now that the second independent clause has been diagrammed, we are ready to connect the two independent clauses with the coordinating conjunction, but. The word but goes on a solid horizontal line and then it is connected verb to verb with a dotted line. Here is our third sentence. While they are going to high school, many students are preparing themselves for college. We have two subject verb combinations. They are and students are. Many students are preparing themselves for college is the independent clause and while they are going to high school is the dependent clause. That means we have a complex sentence and we also have a subordinating conjunction while. We will begin diagramming this by diagramming the main independent clause first. Now we will diagram the dependent clause. Finally, it's time to connect our two clauses. Because we have a subordinating conjunction, we are going to go verb to verb with a diagonal dotted line, and then the subordinating conjunction gets written on that line. Notice that we capitalized it to indicate that that is the first word of the sentence, so if we were to now rewrite the sentence, we know that we need to begin with the dependent clause. Here is our fourth and final sentence. After they graduate, some students choose additional education and others choose jobs, although they might not earn high salaries. We see that we have four subject-verb combinations in here. They graduate, students choose, others choose, and they might. We also have some conjunctions in this sentence. We have the coordinating conjunction and and we also have two subordinating conjunctions, after and although. We have two independent clauses. Some students choose additional education, others choose jobs. And we have two dependent clauses, after they graduate, although they might not earn high salaries. We need to begin diagramming this compound complex sentence by diagramming the main independent clause first. Next, we'll diagram the second independent clause. We'll connect these two independent clauses by using the coordinating conjunction AND. Now that the compound part of this compound complex sentence has been diagrammed, we need to add our two dependent clauses. We'll go ahead and diagram the subject predicate parts of those clauses first. 
Here is the first dependent clause. Next, we will connect it to the independent clause that it's part of by going verb to verb with the subordinating conjunction after. Again, notice that it's capitalized because it's the first word in the sentence. Next, we need to diagram our second and final dependent clause. Finally, we will add the subordinating conjunction although connected verb to verb. Notice that it's on a dotted line and that completes this compound complex sentence. Wait, I almost forgot the modifier high underneath salaries. Make sure that you don't forget to add any modifiers to your diagrams on the assessment for Friday.